Police Week coming up, and I also want to remember uh, NYPD Officer Brian Moore, who died in the line of duty this past week. So, okay. thank you, thank you to all the police officers who are working and have worked to protect us for all these past years. Well, all right. First item on the agenda is reports. Hmm? You want to do a roll call? Everybody's here. <laughs> the usual suspects are up here. Thank you. Barnes? Here. Mr. Cook? Present. Mr. Andriano? Here. Mr. Rogan? Here. Mr. Griffin? Here. Yes, I am here. Uh, I would ask the clerk to file the reports as read. And can I get a motion on the uh, supervisor's report for March? I'll make a motion at the town board approve the uh, supervisor's reports for January, February, and March 2015. So moved. Second. Well, we get a different agenda. <coughs> okay. How about a motion on the minutes? Make a motion to approve. You want to make a motion or want me to make a motion? Oh, I'm making a motion. I'm making a motion to approve bid opening min minutes for the Putnam Lake uh, seasonal maintenance, the bid opening for the salt shed for the highway department, the town board special meeting minutes, and the town board meeting minutes dated March 25th, 2015, and last but not least, the town board meeting minutes April 8th, 2015. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Shh. <coughs> Did I do that wrong? Oh, you're good. No, there's just an yeah. obstreperous crowd out there tonight. <laughs> it's the uh, order to the bills, please. I'll make a motion that the town board approve abstract number eight, dated April 22nd, 2015, in the amount of $207,798.96. So moved. Second. Have a roll call, please. Mr. Burns? Yes. Mr. Cook? Yes. Mr. D'Agiano? Yes. Mr. Rogan? Yes. Mr. Griffin? Yes. Mr. Rogue. Okay, uh, first item I have, we had some information from our Director of Code Enforcement uh, relating to site inspections and conversations with the uh, owner and some adjoining neighbors for the Triple B Barbecue in Putnam Lake. And uh, our Code Enforcement Officer is asking that we uh, make a motion or consider appointing special counsel should he need any um, legal counsel on this matter for the future. So. Um, he has said that uh, he believes that he's making progress based on the email, but um, certainly some issues may come up that might need special counsel and given our, our recusal by current counsel, uh, I think that that's appropriate. I think it makes sense. But the only question is how do we structure that? Do we do a scope of services? Do we just say we're going to have him on retainer if Bob needs to ask him questions? Great. Any thoughts on that? Oh, I guess we have to find a barbecue lawyer. Somebody who specializes in smoking? I'm, I'm not sure, but uh, there, there's any number of councils we've... Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll, check, we'll check on the... Uh, it's a professional service contract. It's not anticipated to exceed, I think, 20000 is the uh, cutoff point. You got to use the microphone. Yeah, uh, it's a professional service contract. Uh, I'd have to double check. I don't know off the top of my head what the uh, limit is or the, the threshold is, but I believe it's 20000 If it's less than twenty for professional services, then you don't have to put it out to bid. For bid. But I need to I need to double check it. I don't know. Off oh, the top we're sending of you the bill anyway because you recused. You could send it, and I'll send it back. <laughs> <laughs> And, and if you'd like, if you'd like to advise on uh, on others, we can certainly talk about that too. Okay. I, I would just say, why don't we make it for now for some not to exceed five thousand? I don't imagine it's going to go beyond that in the short term. Okay. That's great. Wow. Okay. Is that a motion? That's a motion. Sounds like a motion. I'll second yeah. that motion. But it still be subject to making the appropriate arrangements with whoever it might be. Right. So a cap of five, but what right the hourly rate is and things like that, we can discuss. We can negotiate. But you're recused from all of this. <laughs> Not recused from this part of it. <laughs> okay. Would we have to approve each time we want to use that? or? I think you just have to approve it if it went over 5,000. 
Yeah, well, we'll have to you know bring it back for when we decide who it's going to be Correct. and appoint them. So. Mm -hmm. All right, so we, we have uh, conceptually we were okay with hiring special counsel for the director of codes to deal with the uh, triple D barbecue. Okay, motion's been made and seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, uh, second item I have, there was a request for a waiver of fees um, for an application uh, for Scott Carpenter case number 02-15 from the zoning board. We have a, um, a review and a response from the zoning board that says that they unanimously agreed at the April 23rd, 2015 meeting that the fees submitted for Scott Carpenter's application are fair and justified in the entirety. So the zoning board is not recommending a waiver of fees and so I will make a motion to, based on zoning board's um, information and recommendation to not uh, waive those fees in this case. So I second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 And uh, lastly, we have a couple of announcements. Uh, would you care for me to do them now or wait till the end of the meeting? No, no, by all means. Okay. We have an announcement that um, Friends of the Great Swamp will be doing a paddle for the Great Swamp on May 16th, 2015 with a rain date of May 17th. It's a seven mile half day downstream paddle, starts at the Patterson Environmental Park and ends at Green Chimneys. Uh, the registration fee is $55 and you can contact Frogs. Um, their website is www.frogs-ny.webs.com. Um, they don't list a phone number. Do you see a phone number on here? Call? You're not. No, but the Frogs website for um, here. There you go. 914-275-2183. Thank you, Pete. Uh, that is a great event. I've heard a lot of great feedback from people who have attended that in the past. Um, Patterson Rec announces that they will be having a tag sale um, Saturday, May 16th from 9 to 4 at the Patterson Rec Center. And uh, you can go to the Patterson Rec website for more information and to register for that. Wow, it's already time for the... Uh, no, no, that's mine. Don't touch All it. All right, I won't touch that one. That's your favorite one, right? No, that was Ed's favorite one. Ed's favorite one? All yeah. right. It's hurting right That's it. Again. Okay. All righty. Yeah. Just those two items. That's it. Okay, first item on my agenda, because Ed's no longer on the town board, yeah. uh, is the 44th Annual Putnam County 4-H Fair. I just laid it. 44 years. I've been here for half of those. It's time to go. Um, every year we, we pick a uh, showmanship trophy and I don't see bionic rabbit or anything on here anymore so um, we nope. have cattle, dogs, goats, poultry, rabbit, sheep, swine uh, and herdsmanship, large livestock, rabbits and poultry. And anybody that can herd rabbits has got to be pretty good. Uh, gentlemen, do what do, uh, do we, will we like to sponsor this year? Would we like to go with the uh, Rabbits, the sheep, the poultry, the swine. What, what's your pleasure, Ed? You have any input on that? I'd like a pig myself. A pig. Oh, so, so we'll, we'll go with the swine. Swine it is. Herding a pig. <laughs> uh, swinemanship. <laughs> okay, then uh, make a motion that we uh, sponsor a trophy for the 4-H fair for amount not to exceed forty-five dollars in swinemanship. So moved. Swinemanship. Okay. Will you will you be presenting? Uh, I'll be resembling, but I don't know about presenting. <laughs> but uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Only if you're presenting. <laughs> okay, the next thing on my agenda is the Traveling Vietnam Wall. Uh, in September, we'll be bringing the Traveling uh, Vietnam Wall to Putnam County Veterans Memorial Park for the third time. This event is in collaboration uh, between the Putnam County uh, Veterans Services Agency and Putnam County Joint Veterans Council. Uh, we, are, we are in the first year of a three-year commemoration of the Vietnam War. Putnam County has become a commemorative partner with the Department of Defense to take part in uh, nationwide Vietnam War commemoration. The arrival of the wall will be the centerpiece of the commemoration this year. Now they've enclosed a card and they are pledge cards. They're asking that everybody uh, would like to pledge, take a dollar and put a name of a Vietnam veteran or somebody you think that 
is deserving of consideration or, or honor for a wall of honor, which they would like us to uh, do somewhere in town hall. Antoinette has graciously agreed that she will be the collector of the money and the uh, wall of honor person. So anybody that has a dollar and would like to uh, honor someone, please see Antoinette. Down to two dollars now. <laughs> this is an expensive evening for you guys. I, 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 like, I hope I'm going to cab fare home. <laughs> okay. I'll give, I'll give you right. MS4 <laughs> okay. annual report. This is one of the more exciting things we do every year is uh, we report to the New York State DEC uh, exactly what progress we've made on our uh, compliance with the uh, MS4 program. And we have two options, gentlemen. We can either have a public hearing, which we know is always very well attended and uh, many, many, many questions get asked. Standing room only. Yep, or we could simply post it on the uh, website and, and recognize it as such. Would you gentlemen uh, care to have a uh, well attended public hearing? <laughs> or would you like to post it on the website or both? It is an election year for you guys. Storm order. Uh, not me, man. <laughs> Website's good. Website's fine. Everybody's is okay. Just yeah. post it on the website. At, uh, not a problem, Rich. No, sir. Okay. Um, I have one. I'd like to make a motion to add one item to my agenda. It's an emergency repair for the Fox Run water system. Second. So move. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, we have, uh, apparently they had a problem with the well out there. They, uh, Checked over the system, determined that the pumping equipment had dead shorted and was showing no resistance. They removed the equipment from the well, installed a new five horsepower ghouls pump, motor unit, valves, etc., etc. Nine hours labor, winch truck, three men. Long story short, $6,818. So at this time, I make a motion we approve emergency repairs to the Fox Run water system for an amount of $6,818 and no cents. So moved to that's to uh, P.F. Beal and Son. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? And I will defer my executive session to the end of the meeting. Mr. Burns. First item on my agenda, lifeguards. The Putnam Lake Advisory Board would like to recommend hiring the following lifeguards for the 2015 summer season at Warren and Jackson Be Beaches, which begins May 23rd and ends on September 7th. Senior uh, head lifeguard Tommy Van Doren at $16 per hour. Lifeguards, uh, head lifeguards Dylan Antolaski, Ashley Garcia, Monica Lawler, and Jordan Winch at $15 an hour. Junior level two guards Katie Dolan, Annie uh, Crumpenny, Crump Crumpenny. Uh, Katarino Ponor and Cassidy Speller at 1082 an hour, and junior level one guards Michael Dom Dominguez, Rudolph, uh, Nick Wardo, Daniel Rossi, uh, Brian Gomez at 1056 an hour. Junior guards, Des oh, how do you say that one? To Saboni, Poli, and Tim Catalano at 1025 per hour, and substitute lifeguards Melissa DeCanio and Sarah Catalano at $15 per hour. So I'd make a motion to approve the hiring as outlined in this memorandum from Putnam Lake. Advisory board, so moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, second, I, I have actually two other items from Putnam Lake. Um, we had previously approved, do I have to move? Uh, uh, I, I had previously approved purchase of lifeguard chairs in an amount of $1,650. <clears throat> when trying to order them, we discovered that chip, shipping charges were not included, so there's an additional fee of eight, $180, uh, total $90 a chair. So I'd make a motion to approve an additional expenditure of $90 by the Putnam Lake Advisory Board to uh, pay for the shipping for those lifeguard chairs. So moved. Second. Senator, they're downstairs. I guess we better pay. Oh, is that what they are? Yeah. All in favor? They've been shipped. Right. <laughs> we, we, we actually previously approved them, I think, verbally. But yeah. um, Next item is a non-bid procurement for um, red clay mix. Uh, the lowest bidder was um, Keegan Construction. For, and we're looking for 23 tons at $85 a ton. For, so I'll make a motion to approve the purchase. We actually got three bids and Keegan Construction was the lowest. Uh, so I make a motion to approve the bid from Keegan Construction for some not to exceed $1,955. So moved. Second. I believe that's for the ballpark, uh, yeah. right, for, the, for the field? Yes, infield. infield. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? <laughs> Uh, there, the item of the highway salt shed awarding bid, I believe we are going to table that until we actually have a signed contract from DASNY. Is that? That is correct. That's correct. Okay. So that I will table that item. Uh, 
Uh, next item is an issue that has arisen on 448 Lakeshore regarding parking. Um, we have a memo from the town planner to the town board from uh, regarding uh, it's Jacqueline Vesey's property. Uh, Ms. Vesey has approached the town uh, concerning her parking arrangement. Her single family house is located on the east side of Lakeshore Drive, south of Jackson Beach. The lot has 40 feet of frontage and is set back from the edge of the roadway approximately 28 feet, has no driveway. For many years now, the previous owners of the lot have parked on the west side of Lakeshore Drive on the town right of way slash par uh, park district property. Recently, the town put up no overnight parking sign in front of the, where she's been parking, which is now a concern for her. Uh, given the frontage and the grade, it does not appear that Ms. Vesey could con easily construct a driveway on the property, although it may be possible to construct a small parking area to uh, park a single car parallel to the road. The only alternative appears to be purchasing the vacant lot to the north to construct a driver if the owner is willing to sell. Um, in order to permit the use of town property, the road right of way to be used by parking by Miss Vesey without fear or penalty of the town, the town board would need to enter into a licensing agreement. Um, I would recommend the licensing agreement be drawn up for a duration of 10 years to allow Miss Vesey time to explore the purchase of the property to the north to alleviate the parking problem. Problem in preparing the licensing agreement, the town should identify what, if any, maintenance will be allowed or uh, if required of the parking area. Putnam Lake Advisory Board has reviewed the situation, agreed that as long as the residents parks on the town right of way and not the parkland, they have no issue with any licensing agreement that the town grants to residents like Miss Vesey who have absolutely no place to park. Um, I guess everybody's seen the photographs? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Anybody's interested in seeing the photographs? There's no, no place to park, no driveway. Um, I mean, I see no problem in, in the licensing agreement. I guess my only question is how many other people may be coming out of the woodwork now to ask for similar, you know, licensing agreements. Um, and is that an issue? Is that a is that a problem for us? Uh, I mean, I don't have a problem with it. How, how the limited duration of 10 years? Hmm. You said to give her a little time to work things out. Hmm. So take them one at a time. If that well, I guess, do we create a precedent if we give it to one? And what, what's our situation if we grant it to one per private citizen and then deny others? Is there yeah, any? I, I think each one would be looked at on its uh, merits, on a case by case basis. It's it, it's not the first time since we've been town attorneys that we've had similar licenses granted. I think also the term of ten years. If, first off, these licenses are revocable, so they're not permanent easements. If if they're abused, they could be revoked. Revoked. Okay. And also the ten year term. Uh, would also be subject to reduction if they do come up with some alternative parking is the, one of the one of the terms that would certainly include. Okay. So, uh, we have some forms we've used in the past and uh, coordinate. So it expressly stated would be re 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 yes. Okay. Is it ten it's years? Not, it doesn't long? get recorded either. You think ten years is too long? Uh, I think I think perhaps Rich suggested ten just so there was a time period at which it could be revisited. Uh, and, and looked at to see if there's been changed circumstances. But I think the intention is that if, if they're able to purchase the adjoining property and have the alternative of you know, extra space to build a spot there, then it could be revoked and we could let them know. So, okay. Ru Russ, since you're here, just out of curiosity, since the right of way would probably impact your guys if you're plowing or what, what do you see you know, issues with that like in the winter or just, just plowing, just like you said, I'm gonna make sure they're off the road part. We've broken windshield Thank and you. snow. Right. No. Then I guess part of the license agreement is all harmless. Yeah. That's your peril. That's exactly why we do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So do we want to ask our town council to draw up the licensing yeah. agreement? Yeah. Yes. yeah it's just that. That's fine. All right. So I'll, I wouldn't. I don't need a motion. We'll just right. Do we need a motion? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll make a motion to... Yeah, I, I think motion to authorize us to do the, the okay. license agreement and then maybe the next agenda, put it review on for, it and put it on for a Okay. Approval. That's okay. All right. All righty. Uh, yeah. Last item, favorite part of my agenda, budget transfers. I uh, have budget transfer seven, contingency account uh, to cemeteries contractual for $300. Budget transfer eight, $290 from parks contractual to liability insurance contractual. Uh, budget transfer nine, sixteen hundred uh, or seventeen hundred and seventy-four dollars from parks contractual to appropriated or from appropriated fund balance and gifts and donations to parks contractual, and that has to do with the neighborhood watch uh, at Putnam Lake Park District, and budget transfer request ten, general repairs contractual to snow removal contractual within the highway budget of a thousand dollars. So I would make a motion to approve those four transfer or budget transfer request as read. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? 
And I just have one other item. I'd just like to again thank the uh, Patterson Fire Department. My father, who is in ill health, uh, fell again today in the bathroom. No, no injuries, nothing serious, but uh, we can't, nobody can get him up. And so they call for a lift request, you know, lift transfer, lift assist, couldn't think of the name. So uh, the, uh, the ambulance responded and picked my father up off the ground and got him back into his wheelchair. So I do, it does, again, highlight for me personally how important the ambulance services are in town. So, and I thank the uh, department for responding. So thank you. That's all I have. Okay. P. Okay, first on in my agenda, since we already opened the can of license with license agreements, um, I have a, a memo from town planner, Rich Williams. This office was approached by Mr. Calcutty. This is in reference to 37 Taylor, Taylor Road. This office was approached by Mr. Calcutty concerning a shed that was that has been placed in the town right away in front of the above mentioned address. The shed is approximately eight by 12, eight foot by 12 feet, and was placed in the area that was being used for parking. Mr. Calcutty has asserted that he needs the storage but cannot locate a shed on this property due to the grade and limited access from the retaining walls. I have conf confirmed with highway, the highway department that the location of the shed will not affect snow removal or highway <coughs> maintenance, typically with similar above ground improvements that are placed in the town right away and which the town board finds reasonable. The town board enters into a license agreement with the property which allows the improvement to remain and indemnifies the town against any damage or injury. The town board agrees that this, if the town board agrees that this represents such a case, the town attorney will prepare a license agreement for the property owners to sign. The town board should consider any special requirements that they feel may be appropriate to add to the license agreement. Um, Rich or Russ, did you want to comment on that at all? Rich Williams, town planner. Um, I've had Russ out there. Russ has taken a look at it. He doesn't feel it's going to affect his snow plowing operation. Um, it's, it would be difficult for the gentleman to get a shed down on his property with the retaining walls. It drops off significantly. I think you can see that by the pictures. Yeah. So again, if everybody is, is comfortable with doing this, nobody sees a real harm to the shed being in the town right away where it is. Again, we do this to protect both the town and the residents of the town so that, you know, there's no liability on us should something happen. This came to light because um, it's basically a new shed and all of a sudden everybody saw the new shed that was out there. How that came to be is there was a landscaper who parked his trailer up the hill a little bit. Trailer got away, came down and went through the old shed that was there. Wow. And so the landscaper replaced it and then building department saw the new shed and you know it raised it as a concern. So we're just trying to help the resident out and clean this up. All right, so I'd like to make a motion to authorize the uh, town attorney to uh, prepare a license agreement for this property. Uh, one question, Rich. Sorry I didn't get you before you sat down. Any variance required for this? Is it? I don't believe so because the structure itself is completely within the town right of way. So variances are usually from an individual property owner's property lines. In this case, it's not on his property. We're allowing him to keep it in the road right of way. Okay. Half half I don't think he's going to get in there once in the winter time, especially like winters like this year. All right. So we're going to uh, we have a motion to uh, authorize and. Uh, Motion made, seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Good. <clears throat> My second item is a uh, rec recreation request for uh, staff uh, shirts. I'd like to make a motion to authorize the recreation department to spend six hundred and eight dollars on shirts to uh, the lowest bid, which was Steve Danucci. So moved. We'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Last item is a recommendation from the town justice for a part-time clerk position. Judge Molay has interviewed many applicants and wishes to hire Margaret Flynn for the open position for part-time clerk for the justice court. Budget rate is $16 per hour at 17.5 hours per week. With the start date of 6-1-15, pending uh, our approval. 
So I'd like to make a motion to to appoint Margaret Flynn for the part-time position of uh, clerk. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Good. Turning the page, Charles. Next, we have a uh, request from uh, the Putnam County Youth Bureau's Pegasus program to uh, use the rec center on May 21st from 6 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. for a pizza dinner, followed by gymnasium space for organized games to support uh, the theme of team building and family dy dynamics. Um, the program is a free program and confidential program for children six to 14 and their adult caregivers who have a parent or family member suffering from addiction. So we, they requested if they could uh, have the fee waived for the use of the gym and the uh, arcade room and we're talking about $70 for that evening. Anybody has an objection, I'm gonna make a motion to approve this. I think so it's a great program for, for us to contribute to waiving $70, I think that's the least we can exactly. do. So I'll make a motion that the town board waive the uh, $70 fee for the Putnam County Youth Bureau using uh, the rec recreation department gym and arcade room on May 21st, 2015. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Next, we have a request from the uh, Veterans Park um, Advisory Board to um, for the town to pay for lifeguard. Um, hold on. Lifeguard management. Where is it? Training. Lifeguard management. Aquatic management? Lifeguard management. Lifeguard management, mm -hmm. okay. Um, there's three individuals who would go, and it's at uh, $58 a piece for a total of 174. So I'll make a motion that the town board approve the town uh, paying for uh, this program for uh, Carrie Weisenecker, Rob Z, and Nick Booth. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Uh, next, we have a request from the Parks and Advisory Board, uh, Veterans Park <coughs> Advisory Board, um, to approve um, Mr. Robert Arnold filling in for our, our uh, Parks caretaker, Brian Burdick, on Sunday, June 14th. Well, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Burdick are away at a uh, family commitment. So I will make a motion that the town board approve Mr. Arnold uh, covering for Brian Burdick at the uh, Patterson Veterans Memorial Park. So moved. I think it's from the 10th to the yeah. 14th. So it. that? it's from the 10th to the 14th. I think you said just the 14th, but it's from the 10th to the 14th. But I'll, I'll, sec I'll, second, I'll second it. 10th to the 14th, yes. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Uh, one more thing related to uh, recreation. We received a uh, email from Brian Burdick, uh, Brian, Burdick, Brian Benedict. Um, he's the gentleman who has the duffel bag sh shop down there who puts on the military show at Patterson Recreation. Uh, this past Saturday, April 25th, and uh, he wanted to compliment the staff as always, the staff at the center did a great job. Paul, Maya, Laura, Patty, Matt, Teddy, Erickson, uh, all pitched in to help us to have a successful event. The residents of the town of Patterson are fortunate to have such a team on the payroll. Sincerely, Brian and Jean Benedict. Thank you very much, Brian. You done? That's it, I'm done. Okay, other business? Anybody have any other business? I Kevin? Have one thing. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm starting to Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> nope, pass. Alphabetical. Wait your turn. <laughs> sure. Age no. water. Oh. See? Thank you.
He was so anxious. Age order. Wait a minute. Ruin his stride. Maybe I don't want to go now. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to mention that I was invited. The library did a uh, crime prevention safety webinar a couple weeks ago, and they invited me into do some training with them and do some comments. Uh, during the training, what came up was uh, they had mentioned that maybe it would be a good idea to put a crosswalk out in front of the library, from the library to the, uh, the uh, sidewalk in front of the firehouse. Since, you know, during we had a pedestrian hit there last year. We also, you know, the fire department, uh, when they have events, large events, sometimes people use the library. When the library has large events, sometimes they use the fire department. I think it would be a good idea to put a crosswalk there. So I'm going to bring it up at the next traffic safety board meeting uh, to see what they can do, if they can help us out with that. Okay. Great. That's all I have. Good. Nobody else? That's it? Our favorite time in the meeting, public recognition. Is there any member of the public wish to be recognized at this time? Is there any other member of the <laughs> No chance. Rich Williams, town planner. Um, just to let you all know that um, after months and months and some hard work by Councilman Dandriano and myself, that Putnam County and therefore the town of Patterson now has an approved all hazards mitigation plan. Wow. That mm -hmm. makes us eligible for grants. We currently have, I think, five proposals in. Hopefully they're gonna go someplace, including providing additional water supply for the fire department. So we did throw that in. Yeah, we threw that in there looking for money for that. So awesome. finally, after all this time, we, we got it through. So nicely done. Great job. Oh, and Pete, um, with the crosswalk, do you want to just contact DOT, see if we can get them to put it in? Sure. Whatever is the quickest to, to what? Yeah, we can reach out to Rock and then over to Poughkeepsie. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I think we can go both routes, I think. We'll hit both routes, whatever uh, comes first. Yeah, maybe we just sneak out there with a paintbrush. And <laughs> <laughs> where did this, this crosswalk come from? Yeah. Not that hard to do. Okay. Uh, Eleanor Smith, President, Patterson Fire Department. I just wanted to remind you about Memorial Day Parade, which is um, the 25th at 1 o'clock. And, of course, muster the, the troops. I know you do that, Mike. Um, can we use the sign? Can you, can you post it? on your sign out front? Sure. Since we don't have one yet, we're working on that still. Will do. I thought that was good. Um, <laughs> we're also having our Relay for Life for the American Cancer Society, which will be June 6th and 7th, just to let you know. Great. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, one more thing. We, uh, we're trying to, um, we're, with our fleet at the firehouse, we are um, combining rigs, trying to buy one for two. Um, we're getting rid of our old tanker, and I know the highway department was it was um, thinking about you know w buying a, a water truck or a, a truck for water. Um, so we ma I made a motion at the last meeting, the firehouse we're going to donate it to the uh, highway department. Oh, so we need to know how to do that. Do I just transfer it over or a dollar or however we need to do that? Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Ella. That's. Uh it's it's very helpful. We appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Being no other individual wishing to be recognized, uh, I have a motion to go into executive session. Motion so to go into executive session. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you all for coming. Thank you.